we're going to think about verbs. Now, in this case, it's the verb ketta, kicked in Japanese. Verbs have valency, the things they need or want. Kicked here needs a subject and an object. Now we're going to combine the verb with its object to give ourselves a verb phrase. Verb phrase VP, and we combine with the object. The object in this case is a noun phrase, and it's boru o. That's accusative case, the bore. Now the object has disappeared from the valency list, we just have the subject, and we can make a sentence, which is a big verb phrase. So the verb wants a subject, and we're going to give it a subject. Here it is coming up. It's another noun phrase, and it's ken ga. That's nominative case, and it's the subject. Valency is empty. It's a sentence. Ken kicked the ball. Let's look at that again. Here's the verb. We know the verb is going to be ketta. It's kicked. And we know verbs have valency. Valency, the things the verb needs or wants. In this case, it's a subject and an object. Now we know that uh, verbs combine with other things. They merge to give ourselves a verb phrase. Here's the verb phrase, and the verb merges with its object. The object is a noun phrase, and in this case, it's boru o. Now, the o here is accusative case. It marks the noun as an object. The object disappears from the valency list. We just have the subject, and now we're going to give ourselves a subject to make a sentence. Sentence is a big verb phrase, of course. Okay, here's the subject coming up. It's a noun phrase, and in this case, it's ken ga. Ken ga. Now, that's a nominative case. It marks the noun as a subject. It's a sentence now, empty valency list. 